What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back again for episode number 68 of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, we wrapped things up on Melee Melee Island. We finished exploring around there and we uh, even ran into the legendary Pokemon Necrozma and were able to capture it. So uh, some pretty exciting stuff in the last episode. Uh, but today we are on Akala Island. We're going to be uh, backtracking here a little bit and doing some post game stuff as well as uh, getting some things that I missed out on before when I was here. So uh, if you are excited for today's episode, if you are enjoying the series, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give you magic touch as always. But we're going to go ahead and uh, roll on through because I'm pretty sure that uh, we don't really have to search around uh, the main part of town here because I actually already did all of that but we're gonna run into a Pokemon because I forgot I don't have super uh, repels up and I actually don't know why I'm running right now I should just fly because I know I know the um, the areas and locations that I kind of need to go to so I, I think I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna fly and you know what the smart thing to do is I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and fly up to route 8 so I'm going to kick things off on Route 8, because I know that there's something major that I need to take care of up there. Which is uh, the beauty of being kind of having at least a, a sense of uh, where you're going because of guides and stuff like that. Um, but I still don't know exactly how the events and stuff take place. I just know kind of generally where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, I'm going to heal up. I think, I think I'm healed up, but... It's better safe than sorry. I don't know if I'll have to do any kind of battles or things like that. But let's go ahead and scoot ourselves on over this way. Because I believe we need to actually go back to where we ran into an old friend earlier on in this series. Which is right over here. You there. Do you know what the Pokemon called Genesect? I do. I do, in fact. And I have no choice but to admit that you are all I would expect you to be. The cannon's ability could be activated using certain drives created by the scientists in the P2 laboratory. I think that you might be able to use them as they should be used. Gives us the Douse Drive. The Shock Drive. And the burn drive. I think that's all the drives. Nope, there's a chill drive too. I forgot about chill drive. Simply believing in your Pokemon will not guarantee that you can do everything you want. But there are many things that are guaranteed to fail if you do not believe in them. It is the trust between a trainer and a Pokemon alone that can be overcome that can overcome these hurdles. You there. You should know that there is a battle facility on Pony Island called the Battle Tree. I look forward to seeing what kinds of trainers and Pokemon I can encounter there. Yo, did you hear that beeping? I think that was him pressing buttons on his gloves, which was really kind of odd, but... I think that's what was going on there. But anyway, now that we did that, I'm gonna actually head back this direction. Because I'm an idiot, uh, if you guys haven't already figured that out. Um, and apparently I miss a lot of things that should have been super obvious and super easy to, f to find and are in plain sight if I, if I look. But this is a terrible guide. If, if you guys are using this as a walkthrough, it's a terrible walkthrough because I'm missing things that are super obvious. So I, if you guys remember this little area, if you guys remember this little area here, where I was trying to get up here, but this stuff was in the way, and I thought, oh, I probably need a ride Pokemon to get through here. Well, if I had used my brain a little bit and walked down like 30 steps, not even 30 steps, like 10 steps, I would have found the way to get up here was simply by walking around. And there you go, Torment. That's how you get that. <laughs> Like, man, I'm the worst. I'm actually the worst. Let's go ahead and fly, though. Uh, now, I think the next place that I need to go 
And I'm going to look around just to make sure. But I think now we should be in the clear to go to Royal Avenue, which is where kind of the next couple of things are going to be. So let's head over there. And by next couple of things, uh, there's an event that there's an event or something that that triggers when you go over here. Like if you're if you're playing this game, I don't know. Like unless you're using a guide, I don't know how you know this stuff other than just a lot of exploring, a lot of talking and retalking to people. But I know that you know you don't want to see every bit of that. Welcome to the 13 Mega Mart, where sales are explosive. Here, have a special discount coupon that can only be used here. So they're gonna give you that discount coupon. Just show that discount coupon to the uh, checkout staff when you're ringing up at the register. Yada yada yada. Now please shop till you drop. So there's somebody in here that I'm supposed to talk to. Oh yep, free promotional items. Yo, I'm not even mad about you know free samples and whatnot. I'm thinking there's somebody in here. I don't know who exactly. Uh, people come by here to snack, uh, to tide them over uh, while they watch the matches in the Battle Royale Dome. My driven loom is so strong. Yada, yada, yada. The original Thrifty Mega Mart was actually on another island, but it got moved here. Oh, so that's the one on Ula Ula Island, I'm guessing. My house is overrun with kids and Pokemon, so this place is a blessing on my wallet. Uh, I try to tra travel as on the cheap as much as I can. When I find a supermarket like this, I just can't help but feel like I hit the jackpot. Uh, this little fella helps me stock the shelves. I'm not slacking off or anything. I'm working right now. Really, I am. Though when a slowpoke or slowpoke gets to use slack off, it does restore half of its HP. Hmm. Now, what's the deal? I always buy too much stuff. I just don't know how to deal with the deals. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to be. Good to see you. Shoot, did I add things up wrong? I didn't have enough for all of this. Not even close. Welcome to 3D Mega Mark. Thanks for... Uh, hold on a second there, pal. You look to me like a kid, but I can tell just by looking at you that you're a pretty decent trainer. Sure, I'm just a part-time worker now, pounding away at the register with a smile on my face. But once I was a trainer, traveling around on my island challenge too, I even made a pretty fair name for myself. Uh... Kagatora, the EV user, that was me. But then I got a wife, and then I had a kid, and now I face a new trial called a mortgage. Yo, Pokemon just got real. And I, w <laughs> and I work here to prepare me for the most of grand trials, old age and retirement. Uh, I just got de really depressed. But anyway, but never mind all of that. Looks like something I'd like to uh, ask an able young trainer like you to do for me. Back in my heyday, there was... Uh, there were these eight older trainers I was always trying to beat. They all used Pokemon that evolved from Eevee. How would you like, uh, how would you feel about uh, taking them on? If you say that Kegatora sent you, I'm sure they'll agree to a battle. If you can beat them all, I'll have something to give you. It'll be worth it. Uh, just, so just ask me if you want to know more about any of them. Okay. Cool, so now it looks like what we need to do is go and battle the, the various um, evolution users. Which I, I'm sure are going to be scattered throughout the islands, but the Purion user Polly, uh, they called her the Wild Whirlpool of Alola. She was a, she was a cold drink of water, alright. A bikini clad beauty who beat all the boys. Her Vaporeon's Hydro Pump could blast through solid steel plating. She was from Melee Melee originally, and I think she trained to be a teacher. It's been 30 years since I last saw her, but I hope that'll be enough to find her. So she's going to be on Melee Melee. Hmm. You know what? I think I might actually save the evolutions. We'll come back. We, we'll come back to that uh, in just a bit. But I think for right this... Wait, I didn't see you guys before. I'm done. Zero squats. If Pokemon has the guts ability, then their attack goes up 50% when they're stuck with a bad status condition. It's like sometimes something bad can make you strong. It's good to be bad, yeah? Oh, wait. Yeah, I did talk to you. I remember that. I remember them saying that. 
Um, all right, I'll come back here because I feel like that's being sidetracked. The only other major thing I can think of that I need to do here right now is go to the uh, Hano Grand Resort. Because I think there's a th something, a thing or two that needs to needs to happen over here. So let's go check things out. We'll go check things out over here. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure where. Chucking some Piyuku Mukus. Piyuku Muku Chucking. Piyuku Muku Chucking. Someone over there. I don't remember anyone being over there before. I wonder if she's one of the Evolution trainers or something. Anyway, let's... I think I need to go... Maybe. I think maybe I'm supposed to go in here. Hold on. I'm going to consult the handy gan dandy guide. Handy gandy. Handy dandy guide. Um, just because I want to make sure that I'm going to the right spot here. I think I read something about the Hano Grand Resort, but let me make sure. Um, yup, yup, yup. Talk to Kahili to get TM92 Trick Room. Who's Kahili? Who's Kahili? Oh, wait, isn't Kahili the, um,. Isn't Kahili? Kahili is uh, the Elite Four member, right? Right, right. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Kahili is the is the Goth Elite Four trainer, right? Yeah, there she is. Magic, what are you doing at my place? This is a resort, right? Oh, dang. Oh, my dad owns the Hano Grand Resort. So, anyway, you're the champion now, right? So are you out there training every day? Uh, what? You're the champion, aren't you? I'm a top-ranking player in the golf world, and that is because I still practice every day. I think it's important to keep training every day, even if it's for just a bit. I'll give you this. It should help you aim for even loftier goals. M92 Trick Room. So shout out to Trick Room. Mini flying type Pokemon are fast, right? That's why I use Trick Room to, to up my handicap. It forces me to train in battles where the slower Pokemon get to move first. I should get going though. I've got to get back to some daily training regimen. 10 more hours to go today. Yo, that's actually kind of cool that that's a cool, cool concept. I, I know that it doesn't necessarily like I know that that doesn't necessarily work, I guess, because in reality, because um, it's kind of like weighted training, right? Where, like, since flying Pokemon are fast, their difficulty would be fighting Pokemon that, uh, since they're faster Pokemon, generally they're going to be less bulky and rely on hitting hard and fast. So, by using Trick Room, it would make you fight them fight pokemon that are slower would be attacking you first so in a way it's pokemon so it's 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 not it doesn't really work that way but it's it's a cool concept it's a cool concept like i can get behind that i kind of dig that that idea that's pretty cool I, I like it um so that's so that's that so i think that's really every major thing that i need to do i didn't take as long as i thought it would so I guess I can go back and I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go back and talk to talk to um, our boy our boy um, what's his face I already forgot his name 
It starts with a K. I know that much. I remember that much. Whoa. All right. Yeah, let me go back and talk to. Uh, let me go back and talk to him again. Just to. Um, just to see, kind of get an idea where each of these users are gonna be at. Each of the EV Lucian users are gonna be. And that's probably what I'll do in the next episode is go and uh, go and find all of them. Um, all right, so the Vaporeon user, Vaporeon user Polly, they called her the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Already read that. Melee, melee. It's been 30 years since I last saw her, but I hope that'll be enough to find her. So she's gonna be on melee, melee somewhere. Um, let's check the Flareon user, the fiery magician brimming with life. A magician! Hello? Chad the Flareon user, his temper burned as hot as any flame, and he was always quick to find a fight. His Flareon's fire attacks were relentless, going after opponents like a living thing. I know he always stayed at the Tidesong Hotel back in those days. It's been 30 years since I last saw him, but I hope that'll be enough to find him. Tidesong Hotel. Melee, melee. Um, let's see, Jolteon. Oh yes, the electrifying ball of energy that was Jane the Jolteon user. She looked like a lovely young lass, but beneath that sweaty face was the heart of a tyrant. Her Jolteon slammed into opponents like a bolt of lightning from the blue sky. Last I heard, she was working somewhere on Ula Ula Island. Working somewhere on Ula Ula Island. All right. The Espeon user, probably the best user, let's be honest. The Espeon user, Ishan, the sun itself was charmed by his sweet looks. His Espeon danced past enemies' attacks, letting them slide right off of it like some kind of miracle. That was my boy. Ishan worked at the geothermal power plant back in those days, but now it's been 30 years since I last saw him. But I hope that'll be enough to, yeah, you get that, you get the point by now. All right. So let's see, who else is there? The Umbreon user. The immortal ruler of the night, Braden the Umbreon user. Braden the Umbreon user. Hmm, interesting. The rumors say that he did once, uh, he died, whoa, wait. The rumors said that he died once and came back to life. Everyone was afraid of him. His Umbreon gave off its horrifying aura all the time and never let up. He used to hold some kind of ceremony in the cemetery on Mele Mele Island every night. Hmm, it's been 30 years since I last saw him, but I hope that'll be enough to find him. Alright. So Glaceon user. Miss Absolute Zero, Rhea the Glaceon user. Uh, that cool beauty seemed to have a soul of ice, which she mercilessly pursued her, when she mercilessly pursued her opponent. Even time froze around her Glaceon. I know that she originally came from a small village on Mele Mele Island. It's been 30 years since I last saw her, but I hope that'll be enough to find her. So she's probably on Mele Mele Island as well. That's gonna leave the Leafeon and Sylveon users. A goddess of beauty in full bloom, uh... Linnea, the Leafeon user. She was a world-famous model and a powerful grass-type Pokemon user. When her Leafeon cried out, even withered and dead trees burst into bloom once more. She used to always stay at the Hano Grand Resort when she was between gigs. It's been 30 years since I last saw her, but I hope that'll be enough to find her. So she's going to be uh, at the Hano Grand Resort somewhere. And then the Sylveon user, the queen of fairy Pokemon, yes, Sakura. Sakura, the Sylveon user. You talking about Sakura, the kawaii evolution user? Hmm. That pretty young maiden was adored by fairy type Pokemon who saw her as a queen. Even wild beasts were captivated when her Sylveon appeared before them. Uh, I heard that she was a descendant of the nomadic sea folk. That is the best hint I can give you to find her. So she's probably going to be at the Seafolk Village. Alright, so that's cool. So hopefully I can remember all of that stuff um, where and where they're going to be. So I'm going to go and 
check all that out. I think that's what we'll do in the next episode is go after, go and battle all of the evolution users and then uh, that'll that'll probably be a good um, a good that'll probably take a good episode uh, to do all of that. So we'll go and check on uh, battling all of them, trying to find them and whatnot in the next episode. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Not a whole lot went down, uh, but in this episode. But hopefully, 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 um, we will. Uh, have a little bit more excitement in the next episode as we go and hunt down these evolution users. But for now, guys, I'm going to make like an abra and get out of here. So have yourselves a good day. Stay cool, and we will catch you next time.